City of mine How I love, how I love The city of mine It never gets me down City of mine da -da -da -da. Really talking about corporate and productivity and just how we're advancing our careers, how we're thinking about our careers as black women in corporate America. Just text, I know it's a toss oh, but I hate the fact that we lost such a the Uber pulling up on call. Tell me as you trying to fall through. I'ma leave it up to you. What you wanna do? Look, I'm trying to spend this time with you. you know we all for do what you're doing right now. right now. Baby, won't you swing my way? It's been a day and I've been thinking out loud. I know I want you. Long time since the last time. Got a tab, we could run up. Knew you from the way now we grown up. My look, yeah, made the realest ones nervous. But if you want it, clap it. I think that I know somewhere that we could go to crash it. We could keep the pace on slow jam Don't leave me on red Can we go back where we first began? No plans, all we have is the moment This text I know is a toss Now I'm paid by the sentence Taking my time with it Baby, give me yours So I could get some butterflies trapped in your rib cage. Let me know we on the same page Hit me with a text voice, note or an emoji Waiting all day for your name on the ID So if you want it, tap in I think that I know somewhere to be What's up, y'all? Happy weekend My mama um, it's officially the start of the weekend. It's Friday at 1.30, September 22nd, and I'm on a little road trip, headed to my cousin's wedding, and we made a pit stop at Cracker Barrel. It's just me and my parents this weekend. Well, today. I'll be home tomorrow, but we're gonna hang out all day today. Y'all can spend the weekend with me. grab some pictures and some content y'all I just went upstairs and changed my dress I just um yeah I just wanted to go upstairs and change my dress I kept having to tuck at the other dress it was so uncomfortable so I changed real quick now I'm waiting on my dad to get back so we can go um what now I'm waiting on my dad to get back so we can go and head to the wedding but I decided to wear this dress right here Thank you. 
she be hating? <laughs> so pretty, y'all. The head of my dad. My beat slide down. I don't like shoes like that. No, that dress was cute. That is fine, T. Yeah, but uh, it's a good thing I had these little sandals with me. I can't get off the CC though. What? She look good. same clothes as yesterday <laughs> as yesterday but we getting ready to leave so i just threw my clothes back on but um we are um my mother and my sister are getting dressed right now and my dad already left so um we're me and my mom are riding back with my sister and we are going to head back to cleveland it was such a nice wedding so beautiful i'll put clips in here i'll make sure i ask her if it's okay and i'll put like some clips in in this vlog but such a nice wedding it's always nice to be around family but it's time to go back home i am like i'm ready to be in my own bed right so I'm editing videos waiting on us to pack up and leave we might stop at the outlets on the way back i don't know i guess we'll see depends on what my sister wants to do right. and then we're gonna head home you got all your stuff camera batteries are fully charged what's up y'all good morning if you can't tell we're back home you guys yesterday was an entire cluster and i just i didn't vlog really yesterday and there were several reasons one my mother and my sister be doing the most and i jumped in the back seat so in case i didn't explain this well while i was out of town my cousin Tasia, congratulations Tasia, got married 
beautiful wedding beautiful like just so beautiful like i said i'm gonna put some clips in here and um yeah tiaja got married so my entire tiaja is on my mother's side of the family so my entire mother's side of the family you know was there so all my cousins and stuff we had a ball right it was so good to see everybody so um y'all i i was going me and mark were originally supposed to go mark the kids had school and everything so mark couldn't go well they didn't have school um we didn't we didn't know they didn't have school when i rsvp'd so he was like i'll just stay home with them they have a sleepover they want to go to anyway that's cool kids aren't invited to the wedding so he wasn't gonna be able to come into the ceremony and anything anyway so he just decided to stay home so i was like okay well i'll drive there get my own room well then i talked to my mother and she was like well your sister's staying in our room anyway her and my dad so she's like you could just sleep with her and stay in there so i'm like okay cool i'll just hop in the car with them you know and so that's what happened so the four of us shared a room which first of all i didn't share the room with my parents for so long so that was problematic and so <laughs> now i drove down there with my parents and then my dad left early so he'd go to work and i drove back with my sister and my mother and um child they just argue the whole time it's like come on, like goodness gracious we did but then we did stop at the outlet model and i'll show y'all i got some really cute um uggs ugg had a really good sale and i was due for another pair of boots i did just get these slippers but i wanted a new pair of boots so i was due for a new pair so i did get a new pair of uggs i got morgan a new pair my daughter and my other daughter too mariah i got both of them a new pair and um, I got a few things from Victoria's Secret, like these leggings I got on. I'll show y'all later. But that's really all that happened yesterday. I came back and chilled for the rest of the day with Mark and MJ. The girls are um, at their Nana's house, so they're still not home. Um, so they just been having a ball all weekend. I ain't seen them all weekend. So it was just me and the boys. And then our oldest son, who'll be 16, um, in October, he had like seven friends spend the night so there's like seven 15 16 and 17 teenage boys in my basement right now and i'm like i gotta get up and get some coffee y'all i get it i gotta get some coffee like <laughs> i just I, I gotta you know i gotta get some coffee i have a really busy week well i have a travel week coming up so tomorrow's gonna be a super busy day and i have to kind of like reset for and get everything set for the travel week i'm already mostly packed i just have a few more things to pack for queen b but i'm already mostly packed i just it's it's kind of just about what's with the lighting okay the lighting acting crazy but it's kind of just about really getting my life together and make sure making sure you know i'm tying up any loose ends with work and um just some other things um at the house like cleaning up and stuff like that so that's what we'll be doing today and just making sure i'm set and i'm setting mark up for success with all the kids while i leave and live my best life and go see beyonce so um my lash is also hanging off too which i just did which i'm kind of salty about um normally they last me like seven days so it's only been three and this little corner is hanging so i need to re um apply that today too but other than that yes we're doing a lot of cleaning a lot of resetting a lot of just making sure the week looks good for me and my husband the lighting is terrible right here sorry y'all um so yeah let's head to starby's all right what can we do for you i'll do a, a baked apple croissant yeah warmed up today yes please perfect and then a grande apple crisp oat milk um macchiato yeah, is that a hot or ice today? Ice, please. Awesome. With extra apple and caramel on the cup. Caramel uh, drizzle on the cup. Yeah, extra caramel drizzle and then extra of the apple flavoring. Yes, please. Awesome. We gotcha. And anything else we can do for you? No, that's it. Your screen looks good. It's 1050. Thank you. Thank you. Every time I come here and pay them $10, $7, $8, I just be like, girl y'all fried like we are fried for that for real um yeah for real um can i redeem hold on hold on hold on hold on i can redeem my stars which should take off my um my thing my my apple 
croissant. Y'all know I love that apple croissant. Why? Okay, so yesterday we were just kind of sitting around, me and Mark, you know, catching up because we've been apart. We're like conjoined at the hip, y'all, especially since he's been out of work. Like, we're like, oh, and I think I told y'all he got a new job. So he got a job. So um, he found a, a job that he actually doesn't mind. So we're still looking for the dream job, but it was time for him to go back to work. So he found one that he actually doesn't mind that pays decently. And so we're like, cool good job so he's going back to work which i'm happy he's going back to work for his sake but do i really want him to go back to work to be honest i've been having a good time with my husband being at home y'all but anyway um we've been like joined at the hip since he stopped working like i don't think that we've spent a day apart so yesterday was kind of the first 24 hours that we like spent apart in probably over a year like it's been a long time and so, no, that's not true. I'm lying because I did go on two. I did on one work trip without him this year. The one I went on with him, we went to New York, and the one I went on without him. But um, so I did go on one work trip. But I'm like, these next like two months, we're gonna be apart so much. Like I just went on that overnight. I'm going to New Orleans this week without him for three whole days. Then I have another work trip to San Francisco in October. And I possibly have another one to Philly in October as well. So we're going to be spending a lot of time apart. He's starting work. And I'm like, we're, we're like having separation anxiety. It's really sad. Um, but anyway, we were like sitting around, hanging out, uh, just like catching up and stuff. And we ended up watching this documentary on Cinemax um, about the Megan Thee Stallion and Tory Lane's case, you know, when he shot her y'all so i knew a lot of the facts from when the trial came out because people were like analyzing the entire trial and you know giving everybody play by plays and so i watched a lot of that stuff back then but tory lanes was like dead to rights from the beginning like i don't know how this dude thought he was gonna get off like at all like the girl was shot in a car with four people we all agree that the driver didn't shoot her so that only leaves three more which was her we all agree she didn't shoot herself. So now at least two more, Tori and the friend Kelsey. And I think what did Tori in too was because the friend, he was like, oh, they was arguing because they was both sleeping with me. But the friend, her whole story was Tori shot Meg. She texted that that night. She told the prosecutor that in September of 22, I think it was. The trial started in December. She told the prosecutor he shot her in 22, gave him a full detailed account. Tori called Meg or or her from the hospital and called also them from jail talking about he real sorry about what happened the night before and he didn't get into specifics but sir what the fuck are you sorry about if you didn't shoot nobody if it was the friend that shot him what are you sorry about so it, it was kind of like the evidence was all there and I like people were just kept saying oh you know Tori being railroaded no he wasn't he shot a woman and he deserved to go to jail. That's what happens when you shoot people. Whether he intended to shoot her or not, he pulled out a gun and shot near where somebody was standing. That's that's what happens when you do that. You go to fucking jail. So, I don't know. That whole, It was very fascinating if you guys have a chance to watch it. So, we watched that yesterday. And then we also, um, I started the new Love is Blind, season five. Is anybody watching? So I finished up season four, the After the Altar episodes that came out a couple weeks ago. I finally finished those. And Jackie and Josh, oh my God. They, first of all, they were so cringy. Let's talk about that. And then now I, they broke up in real life. Um, I saw that on the Shade Room, I think. And so they were so cringy on the episodes. I'm so happy Marshall is happy. Let's talk about that. And Brett and Tiffany. Brett and Tiffany are the freaking cutest. Like, let's just be honest about that. They are freaking everything. I love them so much. They're, like, perfect for each other. Uh, I, and I still don't know how... What's the white girl in the African man name? Um, I put it on the screen. I still don't know how the hell they still together. I didn't think they was going to last at all. And I'm so surprised that they're still together. But, I mean, they made it past the year. So, hey, maybe, what do I know? But I started season five too. Uche, comment down below if you know what I'm talking about. Hello. Good, how are you? Good. Thank you. Perfect. Like that, but I'm one more for you. Okay. But yeah, Uche, I only watched one episode, y'all, and I'm going to try to binge it some more today. I've only watched the first episode, keep in mind, but Uche is annoying as fuck, first of all. So, let me tap in below and let me know if you know what I'm talking about. I don't want to spoil it. You know, 
I don't want to spoil it yet, but Ucha is annoying as hell. So, yeah. Um, Lydia was lightweight annoying too. I don't, I don't know. She was just doing a lot. But um, it's turned out to be good so far. So we'll see. I'm only one episode in. But. You need a straw? Yes, please. All right. Yeah, baby. And you Thank are you. Good. Hey, have a good one. You too. Yeah, baby. So here we are. Y'all, I've been drinking this drink since they brought it out. Was that last year or two years ago? This apple crisp macchiato. I don't know if it was last year or two years ago, but this has been my drink since they brought this out with the extra apple and the extra caramel. This is this has been my jam. Um and it's just so good. It's so fattening. But it's so good. But that's what I ordered if you want to screenshot that. Um but yeah. That's my straw in it. Shake it all up. It's so fattening, but it's so good. Mm. And diets don't count when you on vacation. Yes, they do. I'm lying because I'm still in this fall 50 challenge. So I'm gonna try not to go too crazy when I go to New Orleans. But I'm so excited about the food. I'm gonna have to like I'm gonna bring one pair of workout clothes, and I'm definitely gonna go crazy when I get back on my workout when I get home. But the food. I heard the food in New Orleans is bomb. I've never been, and I, I want to eat a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. So, um, I'm, I'm just gonna have to have balance. But it is what it is. Anyway, I've been talking y'all ear off. I'm headed home. Um, we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna do a little reset today. And yeah, I'll talk to y'all in a bit. <laughs>